minutes as Roy Kelly for seconds out, happily joined by Lee McGregor, Lightning Lee McGregor, fresh from his victory over Alexis Cabora tonight at the Utility Arena. Is it fresh from victory? Do you, do you feel fresh? Oh, yeah. How do you feel? Yeah, definitely. It was. Um, I feel good. I'm, I'm glad I got the eight rounds under my belt. It's exactly what I needed. And um, push on now. Push on from here. Uh, 13 months out the ring. Uh, it's just it was all just about building on the momentum that I'd built in the gym these last couple of months and, and cracking on and like I said finishing finishing sorry starting this year off and to finish finish and have a big year. Was Kabore an ideal opponent? He was a, he was a tough guy. He, he threw a few at you, judging by um, you've got a mark or two there. Is that what you needed tonight? Yeah, I think he was a perfect opponent for the situation that we were in. Like I said, they're 13 months in activity. Tough, durable man, very, very experienced. Been in with the best, world champions, you name it. Um, none of them get rid of them. So we were expecting that tonight. It was just all about doing what I needed to do, doing what I'd been doing in the gym. And then, like I said, uh, building on the momentum that I'd built. Uh, there was no point in me going in there, getting someone and blasting someone out and around tonight because I've been so inactive and I felt like I had lost a bit of momentum. So these last few months in camp, training camp, I got that back. Uh, and the fight, that fight there was, was perfect for the, the, like I said, the situation and that that we were in. So we're all happy. How did it feel before the fight, get, having those gloves taped up again, being under the bright lights? Yeah, it felt uh, a bit strange, I'm not going to lie. I felt like I was having my pro debut again a little bit. Uh, I've been in big fights, British Commonwealth, European title fights and... I must say, I was I was feeling a wee bit tonight, just obviously with the with the inactivity. Um, I think as well, with how successful I've been in such a short amount of fights, people do have high high expect expectations when I get in the ring, and that's due to obviously what I what I've done, my own my own success. And uh, sometimes people, I do, I feel like people need to, to remember that was my twelfth fight tonight. And then um, I've, I've still got plenty of time, still loads to learn and uh, I'm nowhere near the finished article. I've got so much more to, to prove and improve and I'm excited to see how far I can really go. Where would you like to go next? You, I think you mentioned there about like just improving, making a, yourself a better Lee McGregor. Where would you like to go next in terms of your next fight? Yeah, obviously it's been a rocky um, couple of years. That fight tonight was perfect. Again, another uh, ready. I, I think the plan is to to get me back out uh, in Scotland, give me my own show in Scotland, and let's get a decent fight. Another another good test. Um, open to to whatever. We'll see. We'll sit down. See what makes the most sense. Relative to again, um, my progress, momentum, etc. That I'm building in the gym, and this is a long term plan. It's not just a case of right. You're fighting, fighting this day, fighting that day, like. There's going to be a plan on, on 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 where I'm going, when I'm when I'm doing it, who I'm fighting, and it's all going to be to what like set on potentially challenging, obviously for a world title and becoming a world champion eventually. So slowly but surely we'll get there with the right steps and right opponents. So whoever it'll be, I'll make sure I'm ready for it. Uh, last one as well. I think you alluded to on Thursday at the press conference. Maybe your days of bantamweight are over. Is it is it super bantamweight now from now on? Yeah, for sure. I, I, I wouldn't even rule out featherweight. Uh, we'll just wait and see. I'm open to to lots of any really. We just need to again. Ben's mentioned, and, and I'm I'll I'll say that myself. It's it's activity that I need um, for me to then decide where I feel most comfortable. Do you know what I mean? Like then activity killed me this last year. Up, down, obviously I had like three, four cancelled dates. Up and down with your weight and all that, it's, it's no good. So that you end up losing like, oh, you don't really know where you're at. Bit of activity and then we'll, we'll, we'll know and we'll make a decision from there going forward and we'll, we'll get some good fights. <laughs> are, are there any names at featherweight? It, it's, a, it's a stack division in Britain, the featherweights. Is there any, any names you'd maybe like to have a crack at? I'm not going to say any name, I'm not going to call anyone out, but everybody knows my mentality and uh, that's a, a fearless one and um, I wouldn't back down from any challenge and so whatever fight made the most sense for me at the time, I would I'd take with both hands. So we'll just 
again, like we said, wait and see what happens. I'll let my team decide that. And uh, all I need to do is just keep keep building from this tonight. Keep keep momentum going. Uh, don't don't let this uh, don't get inactive again. And again, that's due to me, obviously, just needing to be looked after well. And I, and I, I'm sure I will be. We've got obviously this now new new um, deal with the dis disrupt promotions and. I think that the plan in future is looking bright and like I just said there I'm going to be having my own show I think in Scotland so we'll we'll see and uh, I think we'll have more news in the coming weeks to see what's happening next with my career but one that's going to be an exciting couple of months. I think seconds out speaks for everyone in boxing that it's great to see Lightning Lee McGregor back in the ring and congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate it.